I think something like this has something really special because uh, to start with, you get a nice connection with the audience, and they're usually in you know beautiful settings with beautiful gardens, and uh, yeah, I, I think it makes it a really special evening. I'm really not very surprised at all that you've got the kind of quality of artists that you've got gathered here today. I think the whole team that's been behind this project has really kind of come together and they brought obviously their kind of contacts to the community for the benefit of the community. We are so unbelievably lucky to have artists of, of this quality um, coming. I mean obviously uh, Mandy Rucroft has been amazingly generous in giving her time and coming. Um, but also just the, the quality of the artists that we have in our area I um, mean it's just it, it's 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 just been a thrill to work on it and uh, as I was here I don't know whether I'm allowed to say this as I was here this afternoon hearing the rehearsals it was just I had sort of uh, it was spine tingling it was wonderful well, actually, I was asked to do this by um, Claire Bradshaw when we were all working on a production together. Mandy Rucroft and Claire and myself were all at the Welsh National Opera doing a production of Madame Butterfly. And Claire had been talking about setting this festival up and I was very interested because I'm involved in a festival down in Somerset and... Uh, and so we were sort of trading ideas and uh, then she said, well, would you like to come along and, and do the opening gala for it? So I said, yes, straight away, because we'd, we'd had such a great time working together on the Madame Butterfly and it just seemed like a good way of uh, continuing that friendship and music making together. It has been the greatest and most satisfying experience I've had probably in any aspect of the arts with which I've ever been involved. I think poetry and music belong together naturally. So uh, it, it seems a fairly obvious idea that one should put them together like this. It's been a wonderful opportunity to get access to some of these houses and gardens and to draw people into their area from outside the Cotswolds as well as attracting people locally because it really is a community festival for people in this community. And we've been delighted that we've had a wonderful response from people within the area and also we've drawn people from Norfolk and London and uh, Yorkshire, people who've been attracted to the programming, who've been drawn to the website. To be in love, my friends, is to chance upon the true name of life. It is to find exactly the right word to face death. It is to reveal the occult key which opens the cell of the captive soul. It is to lift oneself from the earth with a force that insists from above. It is to breathe the broad wind that breathes above the flesh. It is to contemplate from the summits of the self the reason of wounds. It is to observe in the eyes a true glance that sees oneself. It is to hear in a mouth one's own voice, profoundly repeated. I've known Richard for a long time, Richard Coxon for a long time, but uh, in fact we worked out today we hadn't sung together for 13 years. So we were... Um, child prodigies of course when we uh, worked together before but uh, it's been really great to see everyone again. I've actually put on concerts before but not of this caliber and the great thing here is we've got you know artists of an enormous and international uh, uh, caliber, uh, our soprano tonight, uh, Mandy Rucroft. Throughout the festival really we've, we've just got a, a brilliant um, whole program and um, well, I think we're all sort of really excited about it tonight and um, I think we're going to have a good show. So.